Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be doing a clear ID and check ID tutorial. So as you can see, I've zoomed in a bit so it's hopefully going to be easier for you to read the code and follow along. And this time instead of just uh, explaining it, I'll actually type it out with you guys. So I don't want to waste any time. Let's get right into it. So first, let's do a check ID command. So const mongo is equal to require dot dot slash Mongo. So remember that you do need to follow the previous tutorials if you want to follow this one. And also you have to follow Warn of Keys MongoDB tutorial in case you haven't already. Um but yeah. Discord wire not Discord dot JS. And then we also have to require a warn scanner. Dot slash schema, I know, dot dot slash schema, slash warn schema, there we go. Okay, so now let's actually do our command handler, expert set run, equal async, client message args. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's just check the permissions. Manage messages, turn message. That replying do not have valid permissions to run this command. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can actually check to see if they've sent a punishment ID and also define it as well. So, const punishment ID is equal to args zero. If there is no punishment ID, turn message dot reply. Please specify a punishment ID to check. Okay, so once we've done that, let's connect to Mongo. Await Mongo dot then, and then oopsies dot then async. Mongoose try finally mongoose.connection.close okay and then in here we can do our db stuff so we're going to find our results using the query so const result equal to await warn schema dot find one then the query is where punishment IDE is the array of our punishment ID. Okay, so once we've done that, we can check if they actually specified a valid one. So if results is equal to null, then that means that it doesn't exist. So Turn message dot channel dot send. That is not a valid ID. Okay, so now let's destructure warning info from results. Cons member equal to message dot guild dot members dot cache dot get results dot user id so basically if we are pulling the user id from the results that we have uh from this punishment id so and then we also need to get some other information like the author id right, let's use cons author id you know we have to get uh time we have to get the reason and we also have to get the user ID. Okay, let's just add equals so we can define it. Okay, so author ID is warning info index of zero index of author ID. And we can just copy and paste this in and just change this for each one. So like this. But then just change the name so time 
be time reason will be reason and user id will be user id or we could actually this is a better way results dot user id okay so once we've done that we can construct an embed that has all this information Launch so embed go new discord message embed set the color yellow um set title warning info for punishment id and then punishment id now we set the description with the information so set description warn author and the warn author is um, is where's aki oh here it is i'm so dumb okay like this Like that and then we can copy and paste this just in case we need this later then we can do slash n slash n member warned and then that will be the user id the time would be the time And then the reason will be the reason. Okay. Now let's just add a little bit more of these new lines like that. Now let's set the thumbnail. Set thumbnail as member.user.display avatar URL. Um, dynamic is, let's do true. I feel like that will look better. And then size 2048. You can set the format to something, but it doesn't really matter. So message.channel.sim and the embed okay so now we're done with that let's move on to clear id okay so now we're moving on to clear id we can just copy and paste the dependencies here well not the dependencies but like what we need for this to work um and then we can also just copy and paste the man handler too this just make sure to add a bracket at the end and then instead of um, instead of uh, doing moderators, let's make it so you can only do it if you're an admin. Um, you don't have to do this, but I like to do this um, because I don't want my mods clearing their own warnings or something or making bad decisions. I don't really know, but I only have it for administrators. So, um, if message member has permission administrator i think that's what it is for the permission yeah so if they do not have the permission administrator you need to have admin to use this command let's actually just say um like even though you are a mod you need ad you need to have admin to use this command yeah Okay, so now that we've done that and we filtered out all the people that should not be using this command, we can define our punishment ID as just args1, same as always. Punishment ID is equal to args. Arg0, sorry, not args1. Okay, if there is no punish, let me actually just copy and paste this because I'm not gonna type this all out again. 
Okay, let's just do this. Okay, so we have our basic framework now. Um, and now let's just do the exact same thing, basically. Once results is equal to await. Let me just copy and paste this too, to be honest. Equal to wait, boom, boom, boom. There we go. And then let's legit do the exact same thing. Like that. And now instead of um, getting the information, we're just going to delete it. So await warn schema dot delete many. And the query will be all, all information that has the punishment ID as obviously the punishment ID. So let's just make this a string. There we go. Okay, so we just had to delete those brackets over there. Because I think I copied and pasted something that shouldn't have been there. But yeah, so now just message.channel.send. Be warning with the punishment ID and punishment ID has been cleared or whatever. So now we can also just log it. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but I mean, most people don't know simple JS, so I have to include this in the video. Catch error. Uh, you don't have to console log it, but I'm. Uh, it's a good habit just in case you're like debugging or something. But yeah, try and then. Um, let's do like our author is equal to message dot number, and then our channel is equal to message dot build dot channels dot cache dot find c c dot name is equal to. And then logs, make sure you have a channel called logs or changes to whatever your log channel name is. And then after that, we create our log. Let's go to new discord. That message. Embed. That set color. Yellow. Set title. A members. Warnings were cleared. Uh, obviously, you can add on to all of these messages and embeds and stuff. This is just like the very basic framework of what you need for this to actually work. So, punishment ID and punishment ID the add field author, for example. Is our author with an E though because that's what we defined it as here and then uh, we can also set Twitter as their username author dot user dot username we could also set the the second part of the footer to their avatar Author.user.display avatar URL. Dynamic is true. And we can also set the timestamp to make it look fancy. I don't really know. Okay. So we're basically done. We just have to send it. Channel.send log. 
And then we are completely done with this. Okay, so we are currently in Discord, and let's... Actually, I don't need to warn anyone, I can just grab this. So let's do check... ID. And uh, here's the reason, here's the time, blah blah blah. And we can also do clear ID. And then it clears, and then we can check it again to see if it cleared. And it's not a valid ID because it's gone. So then we can also just do like check ID and just some random stuff. And it says it's not a valid ID. We can do clear ID and then some random stuff that is not a valid ID. Okay, well, yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.